in pursuit of technical knowledge and just to gear up for the new engineering entrant myself pranav is here to deliver today's presentation power transformer part 8 as the topic is of continuation so for your con convenience the link of the previous one is given under the description box let's start with concept of stray loss in filch plates there is a provision of suitable clamping structure so as to keep the core of a large power transformer in a stabilized condition all through of its total life span as well as to protect from any sort of irrational forces as developed during system oriented operational hazards corresponding clamping structures at the upper and lower yoke can either be fabricated from wood or iron for providing as an additional stability optional tibers or flitch plates would have been attached along the main limbs between the upper and lower clamping stray flux which are departing radially through the inner surface of the winding has to affect the core of as well as core of the transformer as well as the flitch plate tibers mounted on the core although eddy current losses due to these stray flux in flitch plates of larger power transformers may form a fractional part of total transformer losses but these eddy current losses are of much importance because they can appear to have concentrated in a small area and cause hazardous hot spots it is obvious that major part of the stray losses are mainly confined within the tanks and in yoke clamping structures and very small amount are thereby imposed in flitch plates that is on the tibers and in cold limb edge stacks there are various types of flitch plates such as mild steel stainless steel and laminated type can be implemented as per rating and size of the transformers as compared to tank body some of the cases stray flux density would have become much higher on the surface of the flitch plate which is lying on the outermost coat steps of the limbs for holding cold laminations together vertically the temperature rise so far been in localized section is of much higher as because of the higher value of incidental flux density and poorer cooling conditions corresponding stray flux density may have to attain a significant level that may lead to hazardous local temperature rise if the material and type of flitch plate are not selected properly such high temperature has to instigate ultimate deterioration of insulation thereby geoparadizing the overall operational reliability of the transformer though simulation it has been concluded that for higher rating transformers particularly generator transformers implementing a laminated flitch plate instead of using solid stainless steel would have been much more effective to counter such losses losses again i repeat 
through simulation simulations it has been concluded that for higher rating transformers particularly generator transformers implementing a laminated flitch plate instead of using solid stainless steel would have been much more effective to counter such losses for higher rating transformers code edge loss can be easily controlled by adapting laminated flitch plate however in case of medium rating transformer the reduction of losses in flitch plates can be achieved by implementing flitch plates of high resistivity material like stainless steel or other material like mild steel substantial reduction of eddy current losses and temperature rise can also be achieved by having provision of slots on the flitch plates these slots would have to help in subdividing the flitch plates width the magnetic field impinging on flitch plates has instigated to induce eddy currents the magnitude of normal flux density is being the highest at top and bottom winding edges resulting in higher losses and hot spots in those regions of the flitch plates in order to restrict from such type of occurrences the slots would have to be provided in the flitch plates at both top and bottom locations from the designer's point of view the effect of using flitch plates with following combinations one stainless steel plate without any slot the stray losses will be the highest number 2 stainless steel plate with slots at top and bottom the stray losses would have become nearly 26% less than that of being with ms plate number 3 stainless steel plate with slots throughout the winding height then the stray losses might have been about 54% less than that of being with ms split it is thereby concluded that choosing of appropriate material for flitch plate with judicious judicious slot dimensioning dimensioning may have to reduce stray losses in flitch plates factors which are influencing the flitch plate loss in a power transformer a an axial length of the winding b code to low voltage winding gap c end clearance of cold limb edge stacks d low voltage winding to high voltage winding gap that is flitch plate loss varies almost linearly with low voltage and high voltage winding gap designing of several types of flitch plates are being used in power transformers in case of small transformers usually mild steel flitch plate without any slot is used because the incident field is not so large to cause hot spots as the incident field increases in larger rating transformers a plate with slots at the top and bottom ends can be used where the incident leakage field is higher some of the cases slots on the flitch plates are provided only at the corresponding zone where the load tappings are designed to install providing slots of limited length may have to serve the purpose if the incident field on the flitch plates is not so high see the diagram we are mentioning yoke shielding position of the yoke shielding flitch plates tank shielding 
clamping structure, tank, windings, core, etc. Another view, camping frame, flitch plate, upper deox support, LB winding, HB winding, tap changer contacts provided on HB winding, etc. etc. However, fully slotted plates are even better. But in that case, these plates would have become mechanically weak. And it is evident that their manufacturing process would also be more complicated. Designing with smaller thickness, fridge plates can be then made of non-magnetic stainless steel material having with high resistivity. For higher rating transformer, as for example, large generator transformer where the effective incident leakage field on the fridge plate has assumed to be very high, then the best option would be to use a laminated fridge plate. Laminated fridge plate contains with a stack of CRGO material that is cold roll gradient oriented laminations, which are usually held together by epoxy molding so as to make the assembly mechanically strong. The top and the bottom ends of stacked laminations <laughs> are welded to solid, that is non-magnetic steel pads, which are then locked to the frames. A laminated fridge plates not only minimizes its own eddy loss, but it also acts as a magnetic shunt, reducing the loss in the first step of the core. Evaluation of stray loss on core edge stacks. The stray losses in core edge stack may have to occur due to leakage flux impinging radially on the outermost part of the core lamination. In large transformer, the stray flux that has to strike perpendicular in legs and for which induces significant amount of eddy current loss in the core edge stack, resulting in abnormal local hot spots. This localized hot spot heating may have to initiate a probable cause of bubbling of oil in its local vicinity and over time may result in degradation of insulating oil due to burnt out carbonization factor. The losses would have become more while the core parts is of large width. So division of the core stack may have an effect of substantial reduction in eddy current loss as well as the temperature. Again, I repeat, division of the core stack may have an effect of substantial reduction in eddy current losses as well as the temperature. As by the designers, <laughs> the core assembly is usually preferred to split in two or three parts. The leakage flux penetration phenomenon in a laminated core structure poses some problem as because the field penetration is much deeper as compared to the solid core. Depending on the type of flitch plate, magnetic or non-magnetic type, as used in large transformer, there would have been some relevance on the core edge loss effect. Using non-magnetic, that is stainless steel, fridge plate that has to increase the core edge loss since the laminated core structure would have to allow the flux to have a penetration up to its higher skin depth. Although by using non-magnetic, that is stainless steel, flitch plate, 
that may help to reduce the fridge plate loss, but the core edge loss is generally increased since the laminated core structure would have to allow the flux to have a penetration up to its higher skin depth. Stray losses in bushing mounting plates and due to the high current leads that is buzz burst. <coughs> Implication of stray losses in transformer metallic parts are thereby instigated by the magnetic leakage flux generated basically due to current passing through the windings and also by imposing high current loops outside the windings. Most of the time, stray losses caused by high current loops are not given much importance through such occurrence can be relatively very high significance and sometimes be of much injurious to the equipment itself. Occurrence of additional stray losses caused by high current loops. One, losses in tank cover around high current bushings and loss component due to high current delta connection. For high rating transformers, there would have been a crucial structural part at the tank region where the high current bushings are mounted the stray field concentration and overheating in this region may cause damage to the device itself. One, losses in tank cover around high current bushings. Transformer LV side, that is low voltage side, as well as high voltage side current, both will increase with the increase at its rating. And in consequence, this will instigate to increase eddy currents in the structural component that surround the bushings, as example, bushing mounting plate. Bushing mounting plates are usually made of mild steel or stainless steel material. Being a magnetic material, the eddy current loss and the related heating effects on the MS plates will always be of much higher order as than that of the non-magnetic stainless steel bushing mounting plates. So for higher ratings and to eliminate hot spots, it has been well preferred for using stainless steel bushing mounting plates. As the stainless steel material is much expensive, hence instead of using complete SS bushing mounting plate and MS plate with SS insert is used up to a certain current level. Depending upon the width of SS inserts, ranging of 20 millimeter to 50 millimeter, Transformer current rating can also be increased substantially. <coughs> if the current is still beyond that level, use of totally SS material bushing mounting plate is then to be prescribed. In large transformers, the stray loss due to induced eddy currents in structural components in the vicinity of high current leads would have become substantial and may lead to hotspots if adequate magnetic clearances are not provided or shielding measures are not taken. Generally, buzzwords are used while the current is higher than 2500 amperes. As the current rating increases, bushing mounting plate, which with non magnetic inserts made of high resistivity SS material, are used as shown in figure. Again, as the current rating increases, 
bushing mounting plate with non magnetic inserts made of high resistivity ss material are used as shown in figure therefore for transformers having very high currents on the low voltage side magnetic clearances and material termination of structures have to be judiciously selected see the diagram imposing non magnetic material on the cover plate around high current bushings there would have been a substantial reduction of additional losses in the cover it is evident that the mild steel cover with non magnetic insertion of only 20 mm length between the phase of high current bushings may have to reduce the mounting plate cover losses roughly three times figure 36a in case of using mild steel cover with non magnetic plate around high current bushings in figure 36b the cover losses are then to be reduced practically to zero bushing mounting plate losses are basically influenced by the magnitude of current and the clearance between the plates and the current carrying conductors however it is exhibited that for the same current if the conductor bar width would have been increased then the loss density and temperature rise in the plate would have also become reduced so for a given current with higher conductor bar width the plate loss remains almost constant and also to maintain the same temperature rise one can have to design with a lower clearance between the plates and current carrying conductors there would have been a direct relation between the plate losses and its material conductivity or resistivity for using a non magnetic material a high current conductor bar while passes through a metallic enclosure that is bus duct in figure 36c the eddy current loss in the enclosure would have been a function of its perimeter or its distance from the bar see the enclosure high current conductor bar passes through it <coughs> the higher the perimeter or distance of the enclosure from the conductor bar the higher will be the current that can be allowed to pass through the enclosure the loss can be further controlled by providing the enclosure of a non magnetic material having high resistivity or by using eddy current shields that is aluminum or copper shields in case of three phase conductor bar passing through such type of enclosure a substantial reduction of eddy current loss can be achieved if the conductor bars are to be placed symmetrically within the enclosure and close to each other so as to make the resultant electromagnetic field small <coughs> when the enclosure is made of mild steel that is magnetic material then such type of enclosure has to be shielded by aluminum or copper shield and that should be made in one piece without any discontinuity having with sufficient width number 2 influence on stray losses with the layout of high current delta connection from practical consequences it has been found that the delta connection connections are always liable to generate considerable level of high leakage flux and some extra stray losses produced in windings tank and other metal parts of large transformer such phenomenon 
<clears throat> is of great importance for an appropriate design of large generator transformers whose lb winding usually have delta connected the extra stray losses due to the high current delta connections could have been controlled by the particular layout of the delta connections and the figure 37b seems to be the best one influencing factors for shielding effectiveness stray loss and loss density in tank as well as in the yaw clamps can effectively be reduced by implementing optimal designs for the magnetic shields in large power transformer if the l type magnetic shields are used then it is exhibited that the losses in tank are reduced by 48.5% and the losses in the yaw clamps are reduced by 72.56% that of the total one without any shield stray losses can also be influenced further by varying dimensional parameters of the magnetic shields it has also been exhibited that designing with certain dimensional increase in height or length of magnetic shields there would have been achieved significant reduction of the magnetic leakage flux in the clamps and the tank wall resulting a subsequent reduction of losses in the yoke clamps and the tank electromagnetic shielding is implied for restricting leakage magnetic flux into the constructional conducting parts of the transformer by some passive reaction of the eddy current field induced in the shields which are of the material of high conductivity and is also called as electromagnetic screen however magnetic shielding is used to divert the leakage magnetic flux by changing its path into the shields of high permeability named magnetic shunt magnetic shielding of the tank from high voltage side that would protect the wall best while keeping losses to a minimum provision of magnetic shunts would have been much more effective in controlling the structural stray losses as they offer high permeable path to the leakage flux the optimal design of magnetic shunts depends on various factors as for example length width and height placement with respect to the windings horizontal or vertical type material permeability etc etc stray loss characterization stray loss characterization depends on certain reasons hysteresis and eddy currents both losses would have to occur in the transformer core now hysteresis loss has a close relation with quality of core lamination eddy current loss is directly related with the thickness and resistance of core lamination used to construct the core stray losses are also to be physically indicated as iron losses but the cause of which is not instigated by the main magnetic flux in the core stray loss is rather caused by the leakage flux as generated from the winding and the effects of leakage flux from the winding ends are always be large leaking of flux from winding ends are almost perpendicular to the core such type of occurrence is basically imposed as because of the permeability inside the core differs greatly from the permeability on the outside of the core this leakage flux implies local eddy current loss in the core surface 
resulting a strong heat generation on the core surface. Stray losses in power transformers would have a direct relation with high current loops. The proportion of stray losses in the load loss may have to increase significantly with the increase of transformer ratings. So, stray losses are the additional component of the total load loss and they are produced by electromagnetic flux in the windings, tank, core, core clamping plates, magnetic shields, etc. At full load operation of transformer with large rated power has always entertained with high stray fluxes on the sidewall of the tank. Magnetic or non-magnetic shield that has to be provided as a screen to reduce eddy current losses in the tank wall and cover plates causing to prevent local overheating. The stray field loss and the loss density caused in the conducting parts are considerably increased with the increase of transformer capacity, which probably result in the hazardous local overheating and due to which because of degradation of insulating material that consequently endanger the life of transformer. In the electromagnetic design of larger power transformer, the stray field loss should have to be controlled in an acceptable level for saving energy as well as avoiding the undesired overheating. Advantages of using two shields are as follows. Stray losses would have to be reduced 40 to 45 percent. If the overall design is more or less optimized, then possible overheating of core and coil can also be restricted and ultimately overall temperature rise of the winding and oil would have to be reduced by about 7 to 10 percent. And the last one, it implies a form common base for all the three phases of winding and in turn would have to protect from abnormal unbalancing effect due to certain electrical stresses developed during short circuit at short application. Ferromagnetic tank wall shields in power transformers are mostly used to limit stray losses and preventing from possible hot spots in the tank and structural parts. These type of shields create a low reluctance path for the stray flux and prevent it from reaching the tank. Magnetic shields are built for laminated steel packs so as to restrict losses due to the normal component of the magnetic field to the shield surface. As compared to vertical arrangement, the horizontal magnetic shielding of the tank walls in large power transformers is found to be rather cost effective. Depending on capacity of the transformer, tank losses can be reduced either by using electromagnetic shields or by using magnetic shunts or combination of both. It is exhibited that stray losses in the transformer may have to contribute about 15 to 40 percent of the total load losses, which is considered to be a significant amount. The stray losses are quite related with the leakage field and large rating transformers are with strong electromagnetic field. In that case, if the leakage field is not controlled by imposing magnetic or non-magnetic shields, then it has to link with the various structural parts of the transformer, resulting an occurrence of excessive loss concentration and thereof causing localized heating, that is, hotspots. 
transformer tank is usually made of mild steel which is having a nonlinear permeability so for the tank stray loss is concerned it is exhibited that the stray loss would have been reduced if ferromagnetic materials are used as shield in tank walls let's stop here further to be continued at later stage thank you thank you for patient hearing kindly do li do like share and subscribe the video your subscriptions would encourage to post more videos also share your comments or feedbacks inside the dedicated comment section if you have any suggestions or specific topic you want then let me know in the comment section thank you